because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all what I'm having for dinner today. So I figure it's early afternoon, we're going to go ahead and make dinner, and why not show you what we're going to have. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need a pound and a quarter of ground beef. That's what we have here. You will need a nice sweet Vidalia onion. You're going to need some chicken flavored rice aroni, some oil, I'm using vegetable oil. We have five large eggs. I do have some sofrito here, but if you don't have it or you don't know how to make it, don't worry about it, just leave that out. It's optional. And a couple of spices to make it taste good. We have salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing recipe, Gina Young style. So what you're looking at here is our rice aroni. It's in a saucepan and we put uh, just a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom of the pan. What we're going to do is we want to brown the rice aroni until it gets a nice, beautiful, golden brown color and it's going to almost smell like popcorn. Make sure you get some nice color onto it. When you get color onto the rice, it's going to taste better. Well, all right. <laughs> Guys, my husband is making me laugh. You have to stop. He has to stop doing this, y'all. But I tell you one thing, I wouldn't trade this for anything in my life. We have so much fun when we're recording. Let's try to cut these onions without laughing and without crying. So now, when you're making this recipe, if you just don't like onions, you can leave it out. There has been times where I've made this recipe and I completely leave the onion out, but sometimes I want a nice sweet Vidalia onion in there. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. How about we saute the small onion up just like so with a little bit of vegetable oil until we get, you know, it nice and sauteed and caramelized. It's going to make it taste better. It's going to give a great flavor to this recipe. Only use a small onion. That's all you need. Okay, so let's get our onion into the pan just like so and we'll break it up as we put it in. I will put just a little bit of vegetable oil in and when I come back we'll continue talking about how, what we need to do with that rice. There's the color that we're looking for. Look how beautiful golden brown. It smells good already, but I want mine just a little bit darker. Like I said, the darker you get it, the more flavor that you get with this rice. So our next step will be is to put in uh, this flavor seasoning packet, and then we're gonna use two and a half cups of cold water. Make sure that your water is always cold. If you use hot water, your rice will turn into mush, and that's a promise. So use cold water, it's that simple, two and a half cups. Mix in your seasoning just like so, and the water comes next. Two and a half cups of water, bring it up to a boil after it comes up to a boil. You will then put a tight lid onto it. If you don't have a tight lid, use some foil. I'm gonna use foil and a lid. You turn it down on low and cook it for 25 minutes. So I've covered our rice, I've turned it down on low. We're gonna cook it for 20 minutes and we have our beautiful onion sauteing. I wanna get some nice color onto them because when you get color onto them, they taste nice and sweet. So once that happens, then we'll begin to put our ground beef, and this is an 80-20. If you like ground turkey, use ground turkey. If you love to use ground chicken, use that, okay? So now, since I happen to have some sofrito available, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into our recipe, but like I said, by all means, you can leave it out because not everybody have sofrito prepared in their refrigerator, okay? So, let's get the onions nice and caramelized. In the meantime, between time, let's talk about what's gonna happen today, which is so, exciting today's date september the second saturday at 4 p.m eastern standard time gina young is going to go live i'm going to do a live cooking session and i'm going to show you all how i like to make my famous pineapple upside down cake if you would like to cook along with me i've already put up a community post telling you all all the ingredients that you're going to need and we can cook live together it's going to be a ton of fun in the sun today so i can't wait to see you all there pineapple upside down cake this is such an easy recipe to make and you're gonna absolutely love the flavors of this recipe so now when you're cooking no matter what you're cooking it's about being able to put flavor on top of flavor. So now, somebody in the comment section may ask, Gina, 
Could I just throw the onions in with the hamburger while it's cooking and do it that way? Sure you can, but to get the most flavor, we wanna get the onions nice and sauteed, get them beautiful and sweet and golden brown, and then add the burger. So what will happen if I put the onions into the burger and cook it together? Well, the onions will just steam, right? The onions will just steam and they won't get nice and sweet like we want them to. So now that we have some gorgeous color and they're nice and sweet, come on, take a look. That's what I'm looking for. Now they have a gorgeous flavor that I'm looking for. Then go ahead, put your burger in just like so in this manner. And we will take our handy dandy utensil that I have here and we're gonna chop down the burger just like so in this manner, and then we will season, okay? But chop it down small pieces. You don't want real big pieces because, you know, we're not making meatballs. You don't want big, huge. Do what you can. If you don't have that tool that I just used, use the side of your spatula to break the meat down into small pieces. Let's give our burger a nice stir around, just like so. And you can see that we have a ton of oil in there, right? So, you know, just make sure that you drain your ground beef to get rid of that oil. You don't wanna digest this oil. So now while our burger and our rice continues to cook, let's talk about how this recipe came about. This recipe came about when I was a teenager. Living at my dad's house, me and my brother cooked we decided that we was gonna make dinner. And so we put together rice and roni and hamburger, put some scrambled eggs in it, and it was absolutely amazing. It was so good, we made it the next day. And I would eat it with ketchup. I think my brother would eat his with a little bit of mustard. You can eat it with hot sauce or just bread, but just try the recipe because it is. It's totally delicious, but yet it's so simple, right? And throughout the years, as I've learned how to cook, you can, season it how you want. Sometimes you'll see me put maybe some beans in if you want it to. You could put like some fresh vegetables that has like peas, carrots, and corns in there. Have fun with this recipe because it's cost effective, number one. It tastes good. Anybody you make this recipe, they're gonna go nuts for this recipe and don't take no time to cook. So that's how the recipe came about. Let's season up our beef. All right? Garlic and onion powder is gonna bring you great flavor. Absolutely it will. That's onion powder. This is garlic powder. One thing I'd like to always tell everybody, don't be afraid to season. If you're out there, you're that person that's afraid to season, your food will be flavorless. Don't do that to your family. <laughs> Make it have some good flavor, okay? All right, so let's mix that in, and when I come back, we're gonna have, we would have drained this free from the oil, and then we need to get started on our scrambled eggs. The rice is done, the burger has been cooked, it's drained, and now we have a nice clean pan with a tiny bit of avocado oil in it so that we can make some scrambled eggs. Let's crack some eggs. Listen, if I haven't said I hope y'all are having a great day today, I hope you're having a most splendid day today. Well, let's see, we got a shell in there. Let me get it out and I'll be right back. It happened. My husband's laughing at me. It's okay, hey, move through it. Move right on through it. There we go. Beautiful, nice, fresh eggs. Just like so. Now, here's the thing. So I had one and a quarter of the, one and a quarter pounds of the ground beef. I always, even if I'm using one pound of ground beef, I use five eggs. It's the perfect amount for this recipe. When I come back, we'll get them nice and stirred up. Get our eggs nice and whisk. Let's put some nice air into those eggs, just like so. Then we're gonna get them into the pan, cooking them on a low heat so they can be nice and fluffy. There is a little bit of steam, but the rice is cooked to perfection. Beautiful. Let's get our eggs into the pan, just like so. Make them nice and fluffy. And guess what? We're not gonna season these eggs. These eggs do not need to be seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder. You don't need to put milk or cream in them. Just make the scrambled eggs. And the reason why you don't need to season them is because the meat is well seasoned and the rice is well seasoned, okay? Just scramble the eggs with no seasoning. Let's mix up the rice with the cooked ground beef and onions. 
just like so and after you get this well incorporated then you fold in your eggs nice and gently okay fold in the eggs gently you don't want to break them all up this is the recipe if you enjoyed this recipe give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe tell your family and friends and everyone you know about Tina Young what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis Heavenly Father we thank you for this dinner today in Jesus Christ's name amen <laughs> oh, look at this. Take a look. Make you some. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Take a bite. Let me know what you think. You're going to love it. <laughs> mm. I love it. God bless you. Enjoy the recipe. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm.